go. What's up, everybody? What's up, ISO? <clears throat> I have some really good news. If you didn't check in Discord, I got my driver's license today. Means I can drive legally in Mexico. <laughs> But anyway, no, I, uh, I know, right? Thanks for Kitty. She sent this a long time ago. Yeah. Um, no, we, uh, so my driver's license in the USA expired last year. I honestly thought it expired next year because, you know, that's when I turned a certain number. And apparently, no, the license, the driver's license that I got when I was living in Georgia was only good for eight years. That's an odd number, but yeah, so we went looking into it and I can get a driver's license here and it is, I mean, foreign driver's license are honored in the USA that last time I checked. I mean, people from the UK can, or Europe actually, anywhere in Europe, you can, as long as you have a driver's license, you can drive in the US. From what I understand, pretty sure. Anyways, I know that Mexican ones are. So, yeah, we got a driver's license today. Because <laughs> I'm going to be helping Kitty move. And you need a valid driver's license. So, but yeah. Even So, what they do is that they actually ask you for a lot more information than the USA does. Um, they ask you, obviously, your name, um, your address which that's the same. Um, if you need like corrective lenses or something like that to drive, that's, you know, still a thing. Um, if you want to uh, actually I think this is on the form that we filled out online, you have to fill everything out online first and pay. And then you have to go to an appointment and continue it again. Anyway. Um, what else? Organ donor, something like that. Um, but the thing, <clears throat> Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, some countries you have to have a certain thing, but yeah. Um, I think it's because since, you know, USA and Mexico, I think. Anyway, I don't know. But yeah, so. The thing that I don't remember them doing in the USA was that they take your fingerprints. Um, this is the weird one. So when I got my green card to live here as a permanent resident, um, they fingerprint all 10 or if you have more or less, they fingerprint all of them. Right. So with this one, they just ask you for these fingers and they put them in the database and you have to push it four times. And then on the license itself, you have to, do a thumbprint for your rights and that's actually on the thing and you have to do a signature um they also have to know your blood type so thank god i knew that one at least i hope to god that was the right one i don't know if i'm down <laughs> i'm kidding <laughs> nah but yeah it was different it was different in total it took like it took like 10 minutes that's including the wait time. You just show up with the forms and everything. They ask for your res your your green card or your residency card, um, your passport if you're a foreigner, um, one or two bills that prove that you live where you say you live, and the receipt that you paid. Yeah, they don't take the money there. You have to pay it online. Mexico is weird about some things, and I actually like it. I feel like it's a little bit more secure. Um, but like a lot of the times, like for like government stuff or even, even, um, getting the, the boxes, like packages and stuff like that, you have to take the receipt that they give you and you have to pay somewhere more official or online and then take the receipt that says, look, I paid it. And then you continue on a lot of government or higher level positions. They don't take money there, which is actually pretty cool. Honestly. Um, 
like actually for um so kitty sent some some packages a couple of weeks ago and one of them one of them got scanned and we had to pay money <laughs> god damn applejack cereal <laughs> anyway so what happens is that you go in and then they're just like yep this is here you need to they, they give you a printout and they're like you have to go to a bank and you have to pay and then so you go to the bank you pay the money they give you a little like a, just like a printout receipt you staple it to the paper and you go back and be like look paid give me the box it's it's different it's different i don't write that was an expensive box of cereal <laughs> um when i had to get my my green card we had to go to the bank and pay a shit ton of money now nah, it wasn't that much i mean looking at it now yeah since the peso is sucks or to usd but Nah, it was it was a lot of money to get the green card, and you had to go to the bank. You you have to I think there was like two different receipt forms that you had to have, and then you have to travel into the capital to the to the res the green card place, wait in line for like an hour the first time because they don't tell you what time you're supposed to show up. That was ridiculous, right? Did you saw the amount of people in there too? I remember the Mormons. There was a lot of Mormons both times. A lot of Mormons that were here getting their uh I think they they weren't permanent, they were temporary. Right. Yeah. There was like at least ten. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. It's fun. But yeah, so FYI, if you ever do decide to come here and you need to do something that's like a government official level or like something that deals with that. You're going to learn a different way of life. Oh, thank you, squirrel. I have to go... Oh, here. There we go. Nah. We didn't add... It's not going to taste good with this. Booze is not going to taste good with this. This is like an apple drink. So, this is... This is the celebratory... Hey, I got my driver's license. And then... And then we went to uh, Vic's aunt's place and she offered to go get my hair cut. I have been cutting my hair for like at least 15 years. So it was really weird going to some place and somebody actually cutting my hair. It was weird. I liked it. It's just been a really long time. Really long time. And it's still long. I just have it up because it's ungodly hot. But... Kitty gets a treat. She gets the heart then. So yeah, in case if you don't remember, there's the heart, which is pink. And then we have the tortuga. And then we have these chonky ones that look like Oreos. Really? Alright. So yeah. Vinica! Up, up, stupid thing. Here, arriba. Brinque. Actually, don't brinque. Come here. Hey, pendeja. She's like, no. Eda threw up today. <clears throat> but anyway, so that's been my day. I've been up since an ungodly early time for myself. So I got up around like 11 30. I don't get up until like two, so <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. feels a little weird, but I'm good. Right, I'm actually going to take these off, and I'm going to bring a ranger on reset night. Why? I don't know. Maybe I hate myself. Who the fuck knows? But anyway, Just spice things up. I can be a scout. I want to do some scouting. Scouting's fun. So, with all of that said, it's a lot of stuff, right? Oh, God. Apple burps. I will not be streaming, good lord, for technically two weeks. Um, I will be back on the 15th of June. But that does not mean that I'm not going to be, like, gone, gone. I will be on Discord. I'm going to be probably on Discord a lot. 
because I'm going to be missing everybody. <laughs> I'm not taking a computer. Um, I would take the laptop or here, hold up. I would take this thing, but the battery we had to take out and I don't want to go looking for plugs and stuff like that just to make it go. And I would take door stop, you know, the kitty's laptop because that one has a working battery, but that thing weighs an ungodly amount. So, <clears throat> you're gonna you're gonna have forgotten about me. Oh damn! That's sad. Don't forget about me. So okay, I'm gonna be posting pictures. Oh, oh, oh! So there's actually there's actually a um there's a couple of Mexican restaurants. Um, in the place that Kitty is moving to, and all of them look like Tex-Mex except one. Um, and it actually has an attached store to it, so I'm hoping to God that it's actually not that bad. Um, I want to go and I want to try it. Um, they actually have tacos that I recognize with the, the cilantro and the uh, cebolla, the Cilantro and onion. Um, <laughs> I've tried tongue, tongue taco. It's not bad. It's not going to be something like, oh yeah, gimme, gimme. No, but I've tried tongue taco. It's not bad. That's like once in a blue moon kind of thing. Um, I actually like... Stomach. Stomach tacos. But it has to be done a particular way. A lot of places apparently don't know how to make them. Um, the guy that actually got Kita for us, um, he worked somewhere or he knew someone that did it really well. And it was pretty good. They're eating tongue. It was pretty good. Um, like, And I'm going to be honest. Like, If you're going to try tripe, or whatever the hell, I don't even know the translation for it anymore, but it's animal stomach, right? Um, you gotta make sure, like, it's done right. Because there was one that I tried that was gross as shit, and I did not like it. And then when I tried that one, I was like, holy crap. So that is definitely a, you either know what you're doing, or you don't. So. Yeah. Tongue is, yeah. Um, I know that if anybody ever visited here, there's a, uh, a taqueria, about 10 minute walk that way. Um, pretty good tongue tacos. Like you honestly, you wouldn't be able to tell it was a tongue. Seriously. Oh, tripe in a pho. That sounds amazing. I am not wanting to try brain tacos. They have them here. Trust me, they have them here. I'm just like, no, <laughs> I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. I don't think I'll be able to. Hey, I tried grasshoppers, okay? I tried that. It wasn't bad. <laughs> I don't want to do it again, but it was not bad. <laughs> It was weird. Yeah, no, what I really want to do is I I have to find out where to find them exactly because our Mercado doesn't have it. It's um dried chili crickets. Ooh, now see, that's the thing. I actually do not like liver. I think it's a texture thing. I don't know. I think it's a texture thing. Something stops me from it because I think I used to eat it. I don't know, growing up, I don't think I had an issue with it, but lately I'm just like, mm, I can't, my brain, my brain is saying no. So. Oh. 
I am slowly unlocking all of these. I'm about halfway through. Yeah. Well, see, that's the thing. Since I don't have like the same sense of taste as like most people, I go mostly off of texture. Um, a good example of that is something that's really popular here in Mexico is um, zucchini flour. If you know what a zucchini is, there's a flower. It's like a yellowish orange color. Um, I tried it in a quesadilla and I I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. So fun fact, if you live in Mexico City, a quesadilla is basically just, you know, folded in half, does not always have to have cheese in it. Um, this one we had it was the, the zucchini flour with 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 uh, I think it was Oaxaca cheese. And my brain had a goddamn meltdown. I could not do it because the zucchini flour has a cheese texture, but it does not chew like cheese. And my brain was having a goddamn meltdown and I couldn't do it. <laughs> It was, it was weird. It was weird. That one, that one I struggled with. Um, what's another thing? I like birria. Birria is delicious. We can't. Nah. It's a, that one is a me thing. That one's a me thing because it looks really tasty. It's just my my brain was having an issue trying to differentiate. It was not going well. There was definite struggle, which is funny because you know I've had I've had grasshoppers and the grasshoppers weren't that bad. So nah, it was just. Mm. That's another thing, like, I still, since I still go mainly off of texture, there's a lot of things that just brain full stop. Brain full stop, there is no turning back. <laughs> Which is really surprising since, you know, grasshoppers. They actually weren't that bad. Yeah, no, these are, they're not fried. Anyway. Uh, let's empty out some bags here real quick. No, not that. Um, another one. Actually, this one, this one I can also attest to. Um, something that Vic likes that I tried. I have tried several times. I cannot do it. Is, ah, uh, what's the word? I can't remember the name of it. Um, pork skin. It's crunchy. Cacahuete comes to mind, and that is totally not even the same goddamn thing. Mmm, ceviche. Ah. Either way, it's like a pork rind? Pork skin that you fry... Like, it, you have to, like, stretch it out and everything. Anyway, there's two different types. There's one that has, like, there's, like, a texture that some of it, sometimes it has. I don't know if they just don't clean it well or enough or something. But you do that and you, like, you drown it in a tomato saucy thing. Like a salsa, like a tomato salsa. Because you have it as a taco. I can either do it or I can't. Um, there's a really weird texture slash aftertaste that can come with that that was really off-putting. Like, I I damn near just want to throw it up. Like, if you've ever eaten something and then your brain is just like, spit it out, spit it out, spit it out, that's what happens sometimes with that one. Is it annoying as shit? Yeah. I hate it. I fucking hate it because it's just like, come on. It annoys the piss out of me. It really does. It really fucking does. Let's 
So, but now you know. There's actually been a lot of things that either that I used to eat and I just I can't do it anymore, like pop tarts. I can't do pop tarts. That happens. My brain, if I try to eat a pop tart, my brain is like spit it out, spit it out, spit it out. Can't do it. Although you shouldn't be eating pop tarts anyway because that's just disgusting. <laughs> that's my opinion. Um, yeah, I don't remember what. I think it's if it has that on it, I can't do it. Like it gives a really nasty aftertaste of burnt metal with dirt. That's how my brain interprets it, and that is a no-go. That is a goddamn fucking no-go. My brain is just like, spit it out. So. Ugh, I, can't, I can't do it anymore. I cannot do it anymore. I actually tried ceviche for the first time when I moved here, and I'm just like, mm -hmm, ceviche. I actually like ceviche. You know, I actually really like ceviche. It's pretty nice. We have a, um, uh, I don't know if it's like throughout Mexico City, but I know it's on this side. We have two places. It's called Don Pescado. Holy crap, they are so good. I really like I Don Pescado it's obviously it's a lot of fish things and they make some killer ass fucking coconut shrimp. They got ceviche, they've got shrimp cocktail, they've got a bunch of shrimp everything and anything. Lots of shrimp. And then there's a place here that's called Quepes, and they have some really good fish tacos. Although I don't think they're called fish tacos, I think they're called something else, but... That's disgusting. But I will say that after my accident, I really like lettuce. Like, before, I didn't really like lettuce, and now I'm just like, mm, lettuce. <laughs> okay, that's just... No, okay, that's... Bleh, bleh. That's gross. No. So let's go back to the, the talking about tacos, right? So the um I know, right? And now I'm just like, God damn, give me more lettuce. I'm the one who's just like, Vic, let's have some salad. And he's just like he's not much he's not much of a salad person. <clears throat> I know. I don't know. Well, you could, but it had to be spinach. I did not like, like, lettuce lettuce. I still don't like iceberg because it tends to be kind of slimy in texture, but... Was it romaine? We call them uh, lechuga rejas here, but... The, the big, long... Fuckers. So that's that's the one that I get. You can go to the market and you get a whole head of that stuff for like a dollar, a little bit more than a dollar, and it'll last you for a bit. So I don't know where this guy came in. I think they got a mesmer. Yeah, that's what I like. It's the rope. I think that's what it is. I think it's it's the long one, right? Uh, butter lettuce is good. But yeah, no. Um, I still cannot eat tomatoes straight up. It's way too acidic for me. But I do like tomatoes a lot more than I did.
Uh oh, I think I have my longbow in my guardian. I have to go get it. Hydroponic lettuce is delicious. He said it's kind of. Oh, it depends. So we have hydroponic lettuce here. They sell it in the supermarkets. Um, depending on the day that you decide to go to the market and see if their romaine looks good or not. If not, then you can get the hydroponic for about the same price. It's a little bit more. Oh God, don't, don't say the ranch, Kitty. Don't say the ranch. Um, this one? Okay. But yeah, no, um, my, my salads usually consist of, you got the lettuce, you've got carrot, you've got, I really like mushrooms, tomato, get some cheese, croutons, and a little bit of salad dressing. That's it. That is my go-to, mi, mi favorita. And then I found out you can stick meat in your salads. Okay. Oh, is it by Mestral? Okay. But you can stick bacon in a salad. Like, what the fuck? I haven't tried this yet. Or chicken? I want to try that. I want to put chicken in salad. But usually we either have stuff for salads or we have chicken. We never have both of them at the same time. <laughs> That's certainly how that goes. It can it can fit inside the little cow. I have I have two suitcases. They both have a, a Holstein pattern. The black and white ones. There's a little one and then there's a big one. See, I haven't tried those yet. I'm still I'm still new to experiencing salads. It sounds so weird. It sounds weird, I know. I would love- oh man, berries might taste good, like a cranberry and- ooh, cranberry and salad. Hmm. I actually really like cranberries. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I really like cranberries. In fact, the place that we're talking about was yesterday, the Fickle Pickle, whenever they order their- I think it was their, their tuna salad, I think they have walnut and dried cranberries in it that they rehydrate. No, I was more, I wasn't exactly more like the, the vegetable salad, but I was definitely more of a fruit salad. I really liked fruit growing up. That's the other thing. Yeah, Kitty, Kitty was more, I want the veggie shit, and then I was more like, I want the fruity shit. So, it was weird, fucking weird battle.
You don't like mixing. <laughs> But yeah. Although, the most surprising thing that I have ever tried in my life that Vic actually introduced me to was potato chips in a sandwich. I fucking changed my day. Like, Jesus. Potato chips in a, sal in a sandwich. You would think that, right? That's gonna be one of those don't knock it till you try it. And then if you try it, you still don't like it, then by all means. Yeah. Oh, no, the carbs thing, yeah. But no, it's... You have to make sure that whenever you're doing it... That was a lot of them that just came in. Do you have to go check that? Is that you have to have the potato chips with the mayonnaise or the the saucy part so that they kind of get a little soggy. It's that's the weirdest one. But I also like potato chips and cottage cheese, so you get that sweet salty thing going on. I don't know, kidding. I have no idea. Not Burger King, I can tell you that. That's a lot of package. Oh, it's just pissed. Speaking of cellophane packages and food, we have a 7 Eleven that's that way. And, um, they have. Oh, shit, what are they called? Something over in Japan. Onigiri. They sell onigiri in the 7 Eleven here. That's expensive though. It's like 50 or 60 pesos for one. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Um, the little triangle ones with the with the sushi uh, wrap roll, whatever. Um, they've only gotten three different types. There's the one with tuna, there's a mango one, I think. And then there's something else, I don't remember. But yeah. I've never had one until, like, what was the last year when I first noticed them there? Because we don't really frequent that 7-Eleven. And I was just like, oh my god. 
I can see it. That's usually the one that I get because the other ones either they're there or they're not. And if they're if they are there, it's usually they look sketched. They look kind of sad. But no, the tuna mayo is 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 pretty fucking good. How's your ranger in the world versus world during large combat? I don't know. I'm gonna fucking book out though. Oh yeah, no, they push in, they push in. We have a lot of sushi places too, but Vic doesn't really like sushi, so we never really get sushi. I just like rice dishes. I like rice. Rice is really good. I like rice a lot. I found out that you can actually have avocado with rice and it tastes fucking amazing. That's all you need is avocado and rice. You can also have bananas and rice. I highly recommend you try that if you have them. If you like bananas and you like rice. So if you know what a plantain is, the, the banana and rice, it kind of tastes similar. Not exactly the same flavor profile because plantains and bananas do taste different. So, But they have, I think it's a fried plantain on a bed of rice. I think that's a thing here in Mexico. That's a good question. I think plantain is a plantain, isn't it? to ask. I don't know, maybe Hellraiser knows. The fuck are we even doing this? I 
That person took some actual damage from that. Okay. Greens are going to have to either go for us or go for blue, because, wow, blue, or else blue's going to break in, so. I really need to finish legendary armor for these guys. I have... My heavy is done, my light is halfway there, I have not started on medium because I haven't finished the light. <laughs> I'll get there. Oh, looks like they pulled off, yeah? We need to get in there and start doing shit. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'll just take out this burning oil all by myself. Look at that. It's already at 91%. Okay, I'll just slowly work on this while, you know, blue. 
possibly take Stone Mist, and you know, this guy is debating if he wants to drop some ramps or something. Like, Jesus Christ. Damn. Could have had that gate down by now. A little, a little irritated. That's okay. The thing is flipping. It's flipping. No, don't pull off. Stay committed, goddamn. We're already here. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt so much. Go in, start clearing people out. Why are you pushing into the Lord's room? You're going to be dealing with a. F that guy's got a death sentence. Jesus. Let's go for the blues that are over there. Why are we just... So two minutes.
have people talking some weird ass shit in team chat tonight. I am not going to even. Jesus Christ. What is my finisher? I just realized. Nah, it's gotta be, it's gotta be the unicorn because kitty. Already broke the fuck back in. Okay. Oh shit. Damn it. Damn. You're too close. Should probably grab this, yeah. Is it just all the time? A reset is happening now. Feels weird playing a ranger and reset, but nah, I want to stick with it. I want to stick with it tonight. Saw that um, end of life for Windows 10 is what was it next year? October of next year? Or October this year? Something like that? I don't remember. And I was like, oh, that's going to be great. Yeah, at some point in time I really need to finish my legendary gear. The weapons are going to be something that's always going on, but I think I really need to focus on the armor first. And that back piece. So it's tier 6 mats, man.
Where's the plain smash mouth? Hey, now you're an all star. What the hell? That's impressive. Actually, Kitty, I know what I want to go first. I know where I want to go first. I don't know if you're even here anymore, but I know what I want. I want an Arby's. Arby's or Chick-fil-A? Whichever one is closer or less of a pain in the ass. I don't know if Chick-fil-A exists in Tennessee. And I am in. BG. Only reason why I say Arby's is because they don't have Arby's here, first of all. And second of all, roast beef sandwiches. It has been almost 10 goddamn years since I have had a roast beef sandwich. I won't. I won't roast beef. And then Chick-fil-A because that is like the epitome of fried chicken on sandwich thing that's not KFC because we have KFC here. There's an ISO somewhere here. This just hasn't rendered in for me yet. <laughs> oh shit, you're way over there. Okay. Oh my god, we're gonna be double ranger party, okay. Yeah, not at the same time though, just obviously that just sounds like I wanna I have like indigestion from hell, so I think out of all of the fast food places, those are the only two that do not exist here at all. Mostly Arby's, which I'm kind of sad. Mostly because Vic said that they used to have Arby's here. Rub some frogs. Or 
resistant. Hold up. Doesn't seem to. Ooh, oh, I can't believe. Yeah, that's the same. Okay. Yeah. We are starting strong. No, we are not. We do not have Emberglade. Apparently we already have this wall down. Oh no. Get these. All right, so is that the sentry? I totally forgot to post that. Oops. <laughs> I think we're going for Jerry next. I don't want, I want to build. Yeah, I'm going for it. Honestly, I should probably switch into the Great Sword. Um, 
and grieving. <laughs> I don't have anything else on here, but that's okay. I'm working on I'm working on my legendaries, man. I think this year I'm actually going to get I think this year I'm actually going to get my uh, armor sets done. I don't know. Yeah, if I remember correctly, if you have an alt account, you can like on average just by doing login rewards. I think you get like 250, 300 gold just for doing login rewards. But that was also before they did, they did the astral thing. So I don't know. It might have changed. The only reason why I know that is because a long, long time ago I met a couple of people in here and they actually had... Oh, that's good. But they actually had... Um, one of them has like four alt accounts. He picked them up when they had that sale a long ass time ago that was um, like $30 for the thing. Something like that. And that's all he does is just every day he logs in and just grabs the, the daily rewards on the others. So that's gonna end on that. I wanna go tap this just in case. Right. Did my damage on that going to the camp. for the camp yeah I actually I might go and start logging in for my my dailies on the alts I keep forgetting I have an alt so I keep forgetting that I need to do shit in games it's... like I have a wireframe app that I'm just now starting to remember like oh yeah you know at least once a day tune in and get that shit done right I'm just really bad at remembering. I need to make my journal. I need to make the journal. I need paper. I need I need paper to do that. Should be full power, right? Yeah, full power. I mean, I've been tempted to take one of my journals that I have in the Ko-Fi shop and use it as my own, but nah. I want to make my own. I want to do like my own little personal design on it.
Yeah, no, I can't. That ballista's up there pretty nasty. Oh, it's three percent. Mark up the walls. Yeah, no. That's something I need I need to sit down and actually do though. Although Kitty bought some of those journals. I think she liked them. Yeah, I was wanting to make one that looked like, um, a thing from Warframe, Dante's thing. We're called the Grimoire. I think it's, yeah, it's the Grimoire. Because the, the look on it looks fantastic. But for that one, I need to look at it. I need to make some size references. Let's scale it. And... Yeah. I could do that when we're not doing packing and moving. Run, I saw run. Ah, oh, leave leave the griffin alone. Oh, Jesus. I leave in you, ISO. Wait, is alliances actually finally happening? I seriously thought that thing started to just becoming a meme. Looks like we're gonna go get supply.
so we don't do the camp. Uh oh, I saw they found you. He's running too far. <laughs> I think that person did catch him though. <laughs> Base warrior just got eaten alive. Oh, I am so sorry there. I feel you. I feel you on that. Oh, incoming. Portable arrow cards. They pulled me. Oh, they pulled me hard. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That was a yoink. Try to go the opposite way, and then, like, nope, nope, nope. I'm kind of hurt. It's okay, we're going back. I still got the pain trade finally. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, that was some lag. I'm in combat. This one's not dead yet. I'm I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm slapping your cheeks. Get the fuck up. Your face cheeks, not your butt cheeks. There's more meaning on the face. Come and get me. So green isn't like even really here. Who are we against? Ferguson's Crossing, Dragon Brand, Warless Pass, and Northern Shiver Peaks. Really? Oh shit, we're against Borless Pass. If Helsey Welsey decides to log on, we could fight him. <laughs> You're supposed to be packing the closet, not unpacking the closet. What the shit? I'm gonna go tap this and then I'm gonna go run into that camp. Gotcha. Alright, I'm gonna go brave. I'm gonna go slap the gate a little bit. There's a doyak coming. Get your tags, get your tags, get your tags! Got a good action? Good action.
Just off to the side. That one. That one in particular. That one looks easy. You know what? That one's gone. <laughs> Oh, they got a lot of downs. They have a lot of downs. Nice. Yeah, which watercolor pick are you talking about, by the way? Bunch of reds over there. Not reds, greens. Sorry. Jesus, they're just going to go for it. Okay, I don't remember that one. Yeah, I'm not remembering it. I remember the cat woman with the tiger. That one's just like confused or something. <laughs> Rivo says swords. Gotcha. Oh, 
sorry, I so just need to slap your cheeks some more. Stand up and smack it a couple times. Don't assume Brad Post is fine. Turn the other cheek. We are doing horrible on our own horn port of land, but okay. Doing not, not too bad. On Red BL, our BL is sad. We're doing good on uh, Green BL, so. for the century. Fuck back in here, Jesus. Okay. Oh, that one hurt. Woof. Yeah, no, that was kind of scary. That was kind of spooky. I just wanted to get the sentry. We still didn't get it, so I went for it. Oh, God. Okay. Tags on this guy real quick. Always get tags. Always get tags. Yeah. 
You did? Um. Now I'm wondering. Hold on. Studio update, Guild Wars 2 in spring and summer of 2024. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's happening, and we're excited to announce the world restructuring system. We'll be moving into an always on beta status, beginning with the world vs. world reset on June 14th. Oh dear. That's going to kill it. That's going to kill this game mode. This feature has been a long time coming, and there will be undoubtedly be kinks that we'll need to iron out. You're. You're creating the same problem that we have now. <laughs> And add an additional tier to both NA and EU World vs. World, which will reduce the queue length for maps during prime time. Oh, Jesus Christ. We have a few important changes coming to help prepare for the introduction of the restructuring. We are increasing the guild membership limit from 5 to 6 to give World vs. World players some added flexibility. And creating or joining guilds for world restructuring. Second, we're introducing an in-game tier under the name Next Team Creation Lockout in the guild panel to help communicate when changes to battle guilds will take effect. This is bad. This is so bad. Finally, to help memorialize the worlds we've been battling over for the past 12 years. 12 years! You'll be able to down... No. To don a new title to honor them. Example, Anvil Rock Veteran. These will be available as a free one-time purchase from Commander Warraiser in World vs. World. But we recognize that the world you consider your true home may not be the world you currently reside on. So we're leaving it up to you to choose a title that means the most to you. Choose carefully. You you just killed it. Um I can't believe we're actually going to do this. Dear God. Faster just to go back to our zone run. So basically, after so essentially, what that means is that servers don't exist anymore. They got rid of servers in PVE a long time ago, and it looks like on the 14th of June, there goes the rest of the servers. That's so sad. They're actually going to do it. This is going to be back to PvE land with that shit. <sighs> and not right. I do need to finish up Secrets of the Obscure uh, content, but yeah. Do 
you seriously think that they're going to fix the the imbalancing? It's not going to fix the imbalancing. Although it would be nice to say I probably won't see Monkey ever again, maybe. I do. I need coffee too. Wait, why? What part? When did they fix that? It's a reporter. Okay. Oh, well, here comes Red. Red just melted. Shakita gets a treat. Oh my god, the other one. All right, what does she? What does she get? We got Oreo thing. We got turtles. We got hearts. Oh, you heard it that time, huh? She goes, yum, 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 yum. So it's down. Nope, 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 god damn it. You can't get you the fuck up. I am stuck in combat. Unfortunate. Yeah, he is getting he is getting a lot of lovies lately.
Merchant down. Hold on, I need to sell crap real quick. I know, right? Dude, I feel bad. I feel so goddamn bad. But Vic will be here keeping her company, so it wouldn't be that bad. Yeah, I won't be I won't see my baby girl for two weeks. Almost two weeks. I already told him that she's gonna whine, she's gonna panic, and she's gonna whine because I have been the constant since we adopted her. <laughs> He even said that he might take her out for some walks and, you know, pretend to go look for me. I know. I know. But we have we have agreed that we're going to since Vic does not have a phone, we're going to Discord. He's gonna to have to stick it on the laptop. And at least there will be some communication. No, we're not I'm Jesus Christ, you guys are making me feel bad. Oops. <laughs> No, she'll be okay. I can tell you one thing though, when I get back, she is going to get smothered with kisses and hugs and everything. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Kita would do well with the three tiny dogs. I really don't think she would. I mean, she's good with with small dogs, that's like, you know, we have, our Vic's cousin has a small little schnauzer. And that one's perfectly fine with Kita. The neighbor on the corner has a small poodle mix. And they're like best friends right there. Well, I haven't seen that poodle mix for a while. I haven't really seen the neighbor that much either, so I don't think the neighbor's doing good. Anyway. But, um. Yeah. No, I'm not a dog hater. Jesus Christ. Yeah. That's the other thing. Kita's going to get toys. I'm going to be bringing some toys back for her. I'm going to miss the shit out of that dog. Those down. Where did they touch you, Iso? Fuck. That's unfortunate. That sounds super painful. Oh, that's good.
Is it PC? Wow, I saw you smiled with it. Jesus. That's a masochism right there. Shit, did you say thank you too at the end of it? Fuck. So I'm just about to look up. Oh, Jesus Christ, okay. <laughs> well, look, we're talking about in team chat Windows 10 losing support next. I think it's next year. October 2025, I think. had on the laptop it popped up like two days ago and then I had a pop-up earlier today I was like meh click on for sating They shot me off of my mounds, but I still made it here. Last one missed. That's all right. We're flocking. We're flocking. So is I so is over there. It reminds me I need to charge up the MP3 player. If it still works, I think it does. It's awfully ballsy of Red to push in.
Mastodon says you have post updates. I've actually enjoyed Mastodon. I'm so, so grateful that Hellraiser introduced that to me. I find way more interesting people there than Twitter. <laughs> Take the high ground. There is so much lag right now. Oh my god. Actually, not really. Like lagging uh, audio and stuff. I don't even hear some of these things going off. Jesus, they're not dying over there. Oh, that one's down now too. Unicorn! That was for Kitty. Every single finisher that's a unicorn, it's for Kitty. <laughs> Since Kitty doesn't play this game. Although she might, now that she's you know, found a place and they're moving, she'll have more time. Maybe. Yeah. I picked it up when I had the option to pick one, I think. I didn't pay for it, I know that.
It sucks that I don't even take my laptop, but even if I did take it, I don't think my laptop can push this game anymore. Following the white tag now. Blowing off of the pink one for a little bit. Mostly because of my boast. <laughs> uh oh, the grub is there. God damn it, somebody poked it. Should be going down underneath this cliff. Yep, there they are. That's a whole lot of them down. Oh, shit, he will know. It should be faster to go this way. Maybe. Actually, I think it's probably the same because, I mean, you have to go down the stairs, up the stairs. So, yeah, it's about the same. Alright, I so have a good one. I mean, Obviously you're still here, but just have a good have a good time. Not in World vs. World. Not in game. <laughs> yes, words. <laughs>
yeah, I'm going to have to put off the um, the sewing of new clothes until after the trip. So that'll be fun. Who knows? Maybe, maybe Kitty will take me to that Goodwill that apparently has a shit ton of unicorns in it. Maybe I can find some more cute shirts. I don't know. No, no, you open up it. Vomit a lot of crap. I'm going to have issues eating food there. That's why I'm like, I'm going to try to introduce some um, simple, quick, easy Mexican dishes to. Uh, my sister and mom. Jesus Christ, we're just trading stone list at this point. I mean, I'm here for it. Whoa! I just should have seen that one coming. I'm gonna just run <coughs> over there. Just some more inventory here. Oh! Okay. Melt away. I should be going for this, okay.
is the cube? Oh yeah, no. Still at 30? Fuck that shit. <clears throat> that was a lot oh I interrupted it yeah and we capped it G fucking G, let's go. Not here. That's him. Okay. Glittering longbow skin. What the fuck? He's got sparkles. Oh damn, it's one of those. Butterflats. Well, there's a giveaway going on in team chat.
of mercy. Right, stat still doesn't play it? No, yeah. Can I flip this before somebody comes to yank my ass? Good question. Ah, yep. <laughs> oh. it's weird having my head cut by some bullet holes. That's that's weird. I like it. It's different. Just it's weird. See. Curious to see if anybody will recognize that one. Probably not. Got a lot of downs. I'll start finishing them. Just because of that. Pushing me off, they still got finished with Unicorn. Number again. Yeah, no, they're starting to hit our things pretty hard. Q. 
信这个爱情啊，也让他那个包裹Oh shit, we have a wall down. What the fuck? Check you will, but yeah, you will. Ten plus. It's a lot. There's a lot of them in there still. Right. 
a lot of fish. I think it's a reward truck, I mean. I'll take it though. And some red sparks and other stuff, so. So we'll get some coffee here, so. Where's my next rank up, by the way? The 70, okay. Like 35 more levels to go. The nodes. Let's go yeet. The yawning is starting to hit pretty hard. Okay.
Surprised if Red hasn't come back for this. Okay. It's actually kind of bothering me. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go patch this. This is you know bothered. At least it's closed. Come on. I feel a little bit more safe on that side. <laughs> I mean, they're going to knock this thing down like nobody's business, but. It'll take them some time. So there's still one wall open over there. I'm going to check. Red cell.
Well, okay. Let's go get that last wall patched. more that should be it there Run through the arrows. Ponied. need
Holy shit, we were at 1.36 KDR. Oh. Damn, it's been a while since I actually died. <laughs> Bigger bags on this character. I don't play her that much though, so. Supply. Guess we're gonna go push green in a little bit more. This person literally just uh, pop in to more of us rolling than leave. Okay. I was gonna be like, what the fuck? Nobody goes to the top to fear shit anymore. That's my creeper, okay. Let's go search for themselves. That's a shame, oops. Oh, so we have 188 supply mines that I've had a problem with it. 
break off from the Zerg for a little bit. So I got ballistas and stuff, but Yeah, I got a bunch Just the one. Okay. You know what? A for effort. I mean, this is the shit that I would do. Shit, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that was great. That was. That was fuck that one in particular. <laughs> Do a target paint, I guess. Oh, uh, or supply. Nah.
Yeah, no, I'm gonna have to make sure I log in for the if the Lotus stuff. Thank you. Coffee. Mm. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you. To give him benefit of the doubt, this one's actually determined. Thinker and a thief. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is fun. Hot and sweaty. Oh, oh, my kitty. Well, that's good. Ninety percent. Hey.
Yeah, there's a small handful of reds that are going to try to push this. I'm honestly thinking So green's there. And then I'm gonna go check. I did get a target painter trap thing, so. Should still be okay. These walls are still up. I'm not going to worry about things quite yet. It's going to be reds that I'm more concerned about. <clears throat> Ten percent has to go into a box. All right. It's good, at least you got it. So I guess the painter is still there.
Where's that one going? Yeah, I'm just using it as a go between. Go, uh, I don't want to tap that shot, but we'll go uh, tap inside. For the experience, because I'm starting to take out a little bit. The participation. Let's check on that. Oh, uh, they come on. That should increase the, the participation. What the fuck? No, I still got my participation up, so. Ah, oh, fuck it. Don't trip this shit. Got time. I mean, what else do you do when you have so much and nothing else to do? We have to go check this shit first. Let's do this.
Okay, so let's take like five runs to the supply depot and back. We're just clearing out in pieces. Oh, yeah. mm. Let's capture Durius. That's fine. I mean, it's not fine, but. Durios is one of the most flippable. It's Durios, Wild Creek, and Ales. Let's see where it hits. See if I still got this. Nice. <clears throat> Okay, they're now leaving. <laughs> so basically I'm just saying that I got bored watching the red people, so I built the trip and I'm ends. So after they take uh well, no, Cloven, but Wild Creek, then they can go for that. 
Maybe. I think he's gonna go for ends. Greens are kind of back up, like maybe. Now, I don't think I can get ogres down from here. I think I have to move it that way. I don't remember. We'll find out. I think I have to hit the balloon. Aim for the balloon. Looking for 1800 something. Oh no shit, nope. Alright. Okay, well, we'll put that back. Yeah, I want to go build another turn. This side, you guys still have. It's just still. Yeah, we did. Should be able to reach there. Well, 
gave the Reds something to do to go capture Ems again. Guy placed that right. I got that trap at the gate, so not too worried about it. Those random reds running through. Fun fact if you are ever interested in this, you can technically trap everything here from Sunmist. May not be on the top level like this one, but Darius, I'm pretty sure I can hit from here. Wild Creek, you have to be down here on top of that. Um, same with Cloven. Oh, that was Cubo. Bit like my friend. But yeah, you know, you can you can trip everything those towers. Just to know why I just have to know where to place them. something that I had fun doing back in the day. I want to go check gates. Seriously, you don't grab it? Let's try it again. It sucks though that they took that away. You used to be able to build a treb in this one? Or this one? I don't remember. But you used to be able to build a treb and hit some of this. It might be this one that I have to build. Shit. Yeah, it might be that one. I think it is this one. Yep. God damn it. I built the wrong place.
So I can't about doing something to strobes anyway. See, look, even I make mistakes. No kidding, God, no. I love you to death, but no. Is my supply going? Am I not picking it up? Like, what the fuck? So it's 20 if I get back to that built spot and there isn't any and want to be pissed again. And oh. <laughs> that was beautiful to watch. Get my tags in here real quick. Participation! Aww. That was glorious. You see them like, chick, 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 and then our grip just boom. <laughs> That's beautiful. This is our head of operations for this evening. <laughs>
<clears throat> By the way, kitties, did you like to say that so much? Have you actually watched that movie? Have you ever seen Fifty Shades of Grey? You like to say it a lot. Like the making that reference, that's why I'm asking. Because that is a movie I wish I never saw. That curiosity got the better of me and that was horrible. Yeah. Fuck that shit. It's a bad movie. It's a real bad movie. And I'm not talking like your cheesy shit. No, it's just a really bad movie. Curious. I got so goddamn curious. Never again. Never again. Am I ever going to be like that? Mm -mm. So you read the description of that movie and you said no, but all of the other cheesy ass motherfucking movies that you have made me watch in the past, you're just like, ah, this is fine. Fuck you. Oh my god.
Jeeps. Looks like Red's gonna get their shit kicked in towards the end of this. Let's do it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm no. I heard about what happens in that one. I'm like, I'm not interested. It sounds too, too romantic. I don't like romantic movies. Not like that. <laughs> or I don't know. It just it does not sound like. Oh man, it sounds like fun. No. It's The dirty house, right? That second wall down might as well. Nope, I got the Darius wall down. People can go after it if not. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Well, this is kind of sucktastic. But, hello. Let's see if I actually have this back on target. Might have to take it a little bit to the left.
Somebody should be able to get Darius. I got a wall down. I doubt that they had anybody over there repairing the wall. Dude, we switched, okay. It's Friday, I mean... Jeroz has swords already? What the fuck? Remember, I remember we, we were counting how many, how many hits. I don't remember. I think it's like it's more than ten, depending on the trap. To go build a trip for Wild Creek. Jesus, this is taking some time. I stop tripping, but yeah. That's it, probably gonna flip it.
and then the bread sticker. Alright, so where are we here? for damage. Green. Um, that's Mr. Turnip. I'm up since I'm a ranger, that's my companion that follows me. He does lightning damage. And we got a wyvern thing too. Surprised that reds aren't like attacking so much and shot. Yeah. I think this is supposed to be called a, a, the Hakarunda. It's one of the two in Nightfall, a flying radish. So to go get some of these, there's a phoenix and a wallow, a siege turtle, and a white tiger. I might have all of these. Alright boys and girls and everything that's in between, that is it from me this evening. So a lot of stuff is going on. I got my driver's license from Mexico today. Still pretty happy about that. Um, with that said, I know that tomorrow Vampire Masquerade has been cancelled so depending on how everybody's feeling slash doing, we could do a last, well I mean I could do a last arm sesh tomorrow since, you know, I'm going to be missing you guys for like two weekends. Um, so there's that. And I will not see you guys 
for two whole weeks streaming, mind you. For two whole weeks, I return on the 15th. Um, yeah, that's about all I got. I'm excited. Um, I will be online in Discord as much as I can. You can always, you can always ping me on Discord. My phone has Discord. My phone has Discord. Look, Discord. See? And this is going with me. So if you need something, you can at my ass, and I will see it. So... Just FYI. So if anything comes up... Anyway. So, and I will tune in. I'll do some vids, maybe, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna have withdrawal from you guys. So, yeah. Um, other than that, um, probably take pictures and post them on Discord and other social medias, maybe. I don't know. But I'm gonna try my hardest to make sure that I don't, like, just disappear off the face of the earth. So. That's a really weird place to build one. But anyway. I will catch you guys in two weeks. I also have to make sure that I put a wave on vacation for Twitch. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Two weeks. Oh my god, it's been a while. So yeah. I hope everybody stays safe. Take care. I'm gonna miss you guys. Boy. That's it, man. Game over, man.